Good morning and welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Looking at our current surface analysis today, uh, those showers that we saw earlier this morning as well as most of yesterday have since moved off to the east and to the Atlantic. Uh, the winds have since died down as well, still seeing breezy conditions, but no longer in a wind advisory. Uh, we do have this cold front approaching from the west, going to be moving through our area tonight and into tomorrow. Not expected to see any precipitation associated with that cold front, just going to be seeing some slightly cooler temperatures this evening, uh, but more along the lines of what we're typically supposed to be seeing uh, this time of year. I'm looking at our upper level wind chart today, we have pretty consistent wind uh, throughout the column today from 1,000 feet to 20,000 feet, seeing winds at about 35 to 40 knots, uh, predominantly out of the northerly direction. Uh, once we move up to 25,000 feet, seeing those winds actually drop off to about 18 knots, still coming out of the north. And our freezing level today is 7,400 feet. Now looking at our visible satellite imagery, seeing partly cloudy conditions out there right now, few lower level clouds and a scattered echo of cirrus clouds. Uh, again, going to be seeing partly cloudy to mostly clear conditions as we move throughout the day today and into this evening. Taking a look at our composite reflectivity today, uh, again, no more chances of precipitation in our area for the next 24 hours. Picking back up on our long-term forecast model as we move throughout the day on Tuesday. We are expected to stay dry again. Wednesday looking like a mostly dry day for us. However, uh, as we move into Thursday, we're going to be seeing a slight chance of some showers, um, particularly during the late morning to early afternoon hours. Uh, but the bulk of the precipitation chances for this week is going to come on Friday as this front moves through. So pretty likely a uh, scenario for seeing some showers in our area. Looking to move out as we move into the weekend, however, Saturday and Sunday, seeing high pressure return to our area. And taking a look at our 24 hour weather risk chart today, started off this morning at around 39 degrees, uh, seeing 47 degrees right now and looking at a high this afternoon around 56 degrees, a low tonight around 34. Again, seeing partly cloudy conditions right now, mostly clear conditions overnight and partly cloudy conditions as we move into Tuesday morning as well. Uh, winds today uh, started off northwesterly, 8 to 13 knots, gusting up to 20 knots, seeing pretty similar winds uh, at the moment, uh, oscillating between northerly and northwesterly wind flow. Uh, going to be seeing those winds transition to be more so southwesterly as we move into this evening, into the overnight hours, but transitioning back to northwesterly as we move into Tuesday morning. And our tides for today are above normal. I'm looking ahead at the next seven days. To get today again is just partly cloudy with a high of 56. Tomorrow pretty similar today, mostly sunny or partly cloudy, also with a high around 56. Moving into Wednesday, partly to mostly cloudy and windy with a high of 63. And then moving into Thursday and Friday, those are our chances of precipitation. Thursday, less likely <coughs> than Friday. Thursday, about a 30% chance of showers, the high of around 68 degrees. And Friday, seeing that high drop down to uh, the mid 40s with about a 75% chance of some showers in our area. Moving into the weekend, we'll see those showers move out uh, becoming mostly cloudy to partly cloudy, or, sorry, mostly sunny to partly cloudy this weekend with highs of 45 and 55. And that's going to conclude our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We will be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.